It is Sunday, May 7th, 2017, and welcome to this episode of Code Evolution. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk through how to set up your TypeScript project using WebStorm. And I'm going to go a little bit in depth on how to get some of the nuances right so that everything is ready to go when you want to start doing unit tests or anything that's basically meant to compile your project. So step one is we need to get our project JSON up and running. So we're going to do npm init. Okay, so then we're going to clear this. Next thing we need to do is get TypeScript installed and properly wired up so that WebStorm can use the version that we are using for this project. So we're going to do npm install TypeScript dash dash save dash dev. All right. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to tell WebStorm, hey, I want you to use this version and this version only. So we're going to go up to file and then we're going to go to settings. And then you go to the search and type TypeScript. And down at the bottom where it says languages and frameworks, we're going to go to TypeScript. More recent versions of WebStorm automatically detect which version you are using and, and wire it up in here in the common settings. We'll need to go ahead and enable the compiler. We want it to use tsconfig and click OK. The only difference here is that if we didn't do that and we started writing TypeScript, WebStorm would automatically ask us do we want to compile and then it would still be OK. But I thought it would be good to show you where the settings are before we continue. OK, next thing we're going to do, just going to show you here, this is our current package JSON. It's already good to go and it's got TypeScript here under dev dependencies. And we already have our node modules folder up and running. Now we're definitely going to need an ignore file for git. So we're going to go ahead and add it here. And I'm just going to make a blank one and put node modules in there for now. Quite commonly you can go to GitHub and you can look up git ignore and there's different templates that you can use but I don't want to have anything convoluted. I want to make sure that you can see exactly what I'm trying to ignore step by step. Another one commonly put in here with node is coverage which we probably won't have anytime soon in this project but it's nice to have. I'm going to go ahead and paste the IntelliJ slash WebStorm stuff that needs to get ignored in here as well. And just to kind of cover our bases here, let's add an npm ignore as well. Okay, so we've got our ignore files, we've got our package files. We're pretty much good to go, except now we need one more thing, which is we need to have our default tsconfig.json. When you initially create your tsconfig.json in WebStorm, these are the default values that it puts in there. We're going to update these with a little bit more specificity. So here's our updated tsconfig. Basically, instead of using common.js, we're going to use umd so it can be used on the web as well as in Node. We're going to default back to ES5 because we're still in a world where ES5 is dominant. We have source maps are on. No implicit any is one that I like to use because it's just a little bit more constraining and helps prevent mistakes. Same with strict null checks. I like to leave that true. You obviously can come in here and make changes to this all you like. Remove comments uh, is false for the moment, but you could set this to true. Most importantly, we need to have module resolution set to node because that's going to help make things a bit easier when we import other modules in from NPM. Next up, we're going to create our project structure. We're going to create a new directory called source. We're going to create a directory called dist. And we're going to create another directory called tests. And we're also going to tell tests that we want it to be a test sources root. It's a helpful thing for WebStorm to know which one's your test folder. So one of the features I'd like to add into this boilerplate as a default is the ability to run Mocha tests pretty much out of the box. WebStorm has its own Mocha runner, but it's nice to kind of tie everything together so that TypeScript and Mocha and WebStorm all work together. So one of the major dependencies we need to be sure to include is something called TS node. So we're going to do npm install ts node dash s save dash dev. This is going to facilitate running TypeScript as tests directly inside of WebStorm. Now you could use another test runner other than Mocha, but I'm going to go ahead and install Mocha and its typings now. 
And an important part of all this is we need to make sure that the typings are available for TypeScript to use when we're referencing Mocha commands. So we're going to do npm install at types Mocha dash dash save dash dev. Typings these days are maintained in npm, so this is a great way to pull in your typings and have them be versioned appropriately. So by installing the at types Mocha, we have the typings and TypeScript knows exactly where to look up the types for this. So now you can see here that Mocha has been added and its types are also being referenced as well. Okay, so next step. Let's write our first TypeScript file in order to test that everything is working the way we expect. So what we've got here is our main TS file is compiling to our main JS file just fine inside of the source folder. But what we're going to want it to do is end up in the dist folder. This is where it gets interesting because we want to be able to use TypeScript to write our tests because hopefully that's obvious to most people. You could save a lot of time if you're having typed based tests. But we don't want our tests ending up in our dist folder. That would be problematic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tsconfig and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in the source folder. So now we have this carbon copy of our tsconfig. We can then add outdir dot dot dist to this and then when TypeScript runs we get our code here. So now we're going to go ahead and delete these guys, run it again, and now here's the problem. Our tsconfig is also compiling it in here as well. We don't want that. So we're going to delete these, and in our global exclude, we're going to put source. We're going to delete these files just to make sure that we're not making any mistakes. Now at the moment we're getting an error because there isn't any actual TypeScript files yet for it to compile, but we're going to give it some. Create a new TypeScript file called main. And now as you can see here, our main TS file under test is compiling just fine. And our main TS from our source is also compiling just fine, but it's only compiling under dist. So there's a little bit of an interesting trick here because we have two different configurations of compilations going on, which is just fine. Instead of main though, I'm going to change this and we're going to add an index. This being a little bit more of a convention for other projects. And we'll go ahead and add a TypeScript file called index. And there we go. Our index.js shows up just fine. Now one thing you got to be careful of is if you do delete TypeScript files, your old files are going to remain. So we're going to need to delete those. Now for the case of source, we don't need these exclusions because this is all local to the source folder. So we're going to take that out. I'm going to go ahead and close all these now that we've gotten this far. Close this. Now we've gotten this far, but we need to do a bit more to make sure that everything's working and as well we kind of want to have some default code in place. So as a boilerplate, it's a little bit easier to kind of copy and paste things. So the first thing we're going to do is write a mocha test. Okay, so here's our test, basically ready to go, just as a smoke test. The first thing you'll notice is that WebStorm, as I was typing, added this double arrow to the icon indicating it can be run as a test. And initially, it may not allow you to run the TypeScript because I need to reboot WebStorm in order for it to index the fact that I have TS node installed. What I'm going to do is go ahead and show you that if I run the JavaScript, it fails because there's some missing references here. So the first thing we need to do is import Mocha. And now you'll notice that assert is also giving us a problem. Like, what the heck's going on here, right? Assert is a bit tricky because it's kind of this sub-module of Node. So we're going to import star as assert 
from a cert. All right, let's close this. Okay, so we've included a cert, but we're still getting some grief. How do we solve this? So the first thing we need to do is include the typings that come with Node, because a cert is a submodule of Node, and all this is running under a Node environment. So we're going to come down here to our terminal and do npm install at types slash node dash s save dash dev. Now we don't have to install node itself as a dependency because we're running in a node environment. Okay, so there we go. Everything's fixed because node has the assert types included in it. Now I've already rebooted WebStorm, so we should be able to just run our TS file as a test. And there's our hello world and our test passed. So let's review. How did we get this to work? This is important going forward. Although once this is set up, you don't have to worry about it, but it's important to understand going forward if you're going to end up making more projects and when you're wondering, well, why isn't this working? The important parts are, if you look at your package JSON here, we have Mocha as a type and we have Node as a type in, as our dev dependencies. We have Mocha itself, and you need to have TS node if you're gonna have the TypeScript actually run directly. And then TypeScript itself, just to make sure that we're maintaining the same version as the project progresses. Then for any of your tasks that you create, like if I created another test file, I still need to include Mocha and then also a cert. Now you'll notice something that WebStorm has done for me automatically. It has made a test runner and added it to my list of possible things to run. It even identifies it as a Mocha test, which is very useful. We could go and edit these configurations, and you can see here that this has been added, and it's actually just detected that these are Mocha tests. And you could add your own Mocha test to this list if you like, and it'll be very useful. So let's do one more thing just to kind of demonstrate that everything's all wired up and ready to go. I'm gonna come in here to my source, just to show that all the typings and everything is working, I'm going to go in here in the index and I'm gonna create a module called smoke test. And I'm gonna create a function called hello world. And that's gonna console.log hello world. I'm gonna use capitals just to differentiate from our testing. Then we're gonna go back to our test and our TypeScript code. And instead of our console log, we're gonna go smoke test dot hello world. Now, before I run it, you can see that as soon as I type this, WebStorm identified that I needed that dependency. It even went up a level, went into the source folder and used the index file to get that code. Now this is cool as a starting point, but this is a problem because now our test is rendering this code here. So we need to delete that. Let's use our dist folder. Okay, now something's wrong here because we added dist and now it's asking us to do allow.js. So we are missing something. We're missing our declarations for this index. So how are we gonna fix that? Well, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna add declaration true. Okay, now by adding declaration true, we now have our index.js, we have our index map, and we have our index declaration file. This way we are ensuring that the code that we're deploying is the code that we are testing. And when we go back into our index.ts, everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and run the test. And it worked. The hello world that we have inside of our JavaScript code here is working. Now I'm gonna try this one more time just to make sure that this is working the way we expect it because really we should be pulling from the disk folder first. So what it's doing now, is it's giving me multiple choices. Can I do it from the source folder or can I do it from the declaration? I want to do it from the declaration. Now you might be asking, if you go to our TS config, we have said excluding the source and this test folder is basing all of its running based upon this tsconfig that's in the root. Why is it not just completely ignoring source? This is because tsconfig has its module resolution set to node, and that's fine. It's not a big deal. Just remember that when you're writing your tests, 
you want to specify that you get your code directly from the disk or it just won't run. So for now I want to wrap this up because it could definitely get more and more complicated and we get more and more nuanced about how we want to set up our project, but that's not what a boilerplate is for. It's basically to get you started and be able to kind of get going and then you can kind of customize from there. So I hope that helped everybody. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I know there's some nuance, more nuances that I probably should cover. And if you run into any kind of problems when you're trying to set up your project, please let me know and we can kind of sort them through. Please give this video a like if it helped you. If you'd like to see more content like this, um, definitely click subscribe. If you're one of my students from Udemy, I was definitely thinking of you guys when I made this because I feel like, you know, it could be very helpful. If you would like to learn more about TypeScript and you're new to TypeScript, check out my Udemy course. Or if you want to support me on Patreon, that would be a great help. Anything helps, even a dollar will help me to make more videos like this and we can all keep evolving together. Thanks.